All kinds of people serve in the United States military. Ordinary people. The man and woman next door. Yet they are courageous. Brave. Wearers of the uniform. Veterans. I'm a musician. I started playing when I was a kid and played in high school. Uh, my grandfather, he was in the Army National Guard um, as military police. He finally got to go to one of my concerts and he was really proud of me and he was like, you know there's a band, a National Guard band, and I was like, I didn't know that. And he said, well why don't you do it? He's like, there, it's good benefits, you know, you can do what you love to do. And I said, okay. <laughs> and, I, and I just did it. I just listened to him like, he can't be telling me to do anything bad or anything that's going to hurt me. So I just jumped in and did it. I was always that kid that was always looking to do stuff for people, shovel people's snow, rake leaves for the elderly. So when I saw the military in a career fair, I was like, oh wow, that was just to me the ultimate way to serve and to give and see the country. Um, I did get my education through the service, so I did not have to give that up. So one day I, I just realized, you know, I want more out of life. I want more out of life. Um, growing up in, in the having family members who were military, and growing up down the street from a recruiting station, I was always see the recruiters and talk to them. And I always had that like my ace in the hole. You know, if all goes bad, I'm joining the military. <laughs> you know, it didn't go quite all bad, but I, 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 that was the right decision for me to make at that time. I, as, as a young man in the streets of Washington, D.C., where it was a lot of drugs, I've seen people dying, friends who have gotten killed, and people selling drugs and all this, and I didn't want to wind up in that, that way, so I decided you know what, I'm just going to make something in my life. I'm going to join the military. I chose to serve for direction, uh, among other things, but I think that the direction for myself was one of the main reasons. It was because I wasn't sure where I wanted to go. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do next in my life. But I thought that this was a great opportunity, so I chose it. My family was in supportive at all. Um, I wanted to join when I was 18, but my mom and my stepfather were like, no, you know, um, this is not your war to fight. We're from the islands, and they gave me a hard time, but um, as time went on, I kind of grew up and realized that I had my own choices to make, and I made my own choice, and I joined, and now, you know, looking back, it was hard. You know, my mom didn't even pick me up from when I came out of boot camp. I had to take a taxi home, and to get to the airport, you know, they put me in a taxi, you know, they just weren't supportive. So I think they view it differently now. They see that um, I'm able to stand on my own. Um, the military has supported me. There are a lot of benefits from being in the military. I was able to get my education. I'm now doing my um, master's degree with the help of the military. Um, I'm able to live on my own and um, I don't need them per se to take care of me. And they realize that I'm proud of what I do. I'm proud to wear the uniform. So they kind of, you know, get what it is now. They didn't see it at that point in time. The biggest sacrifice is your family. You miss birthdays, you miss anniversaries, you miss graduations. And it's not only a sacrifice to you, but it's a sacrifice to your family because they have to give you up during those times. Um, but it's a sacrifice worth giving. I miss a lot of family events, uh, things that you can't go back and uh, do over again, family reunions. I've uh, missed a lot of opportunities to pay my last respects because uh, duty's called. And there's only been four times I've actually celebrated my anniversary with my husband over the past 21 years because I've always either been deployed or at training or school. So there's been a lot of sacrifices that I've had to endure and my family as well because they have to keep moving on while I'm away. Working with the soldiers, you know, during the Baltimore unrest, you know, we had the, the riots here. Those soldiers were on the front line serving this community. You know, they, they serve honorably and they, they work hard. There's a lot of sacrifices that are made. Uh, many, the same sacrifices that our active duty brethren make, the time away from their families, their, their loved ones, their jobs, because a lot of them have civilian occupations. They still volunteer, raise their hand, or even some go unwillingly to combat just as regularly as our active duty counterparts. So I don't think being a guardsman necessarily uh, diminishes the fact that they're a veteran or their service or the sacrifices that they make. I do believe it's just something that's in people's blood. I don't know how to explain it. Um, people ask me all the time, why do you do this? 
for some reason it's a purpose. It's, you know, even though you can lose your, lose your life, it's for a reason. It's not like cancer or an illness that just has no reason. It's for a purpose and to me, that just means a lot. And the big picture is fighting for freedom, for your family, for yourself, and for the future of those who are coming behind you. The one who's gave the ultimate sacrifice, we must never, never forget the veteran. The veteran is a very important part. Your grandfather is a veteran. Your uncle is a veteran. You have cousins that are veterans. Keep them in mind, whether they're here today or gone. Keep them in mind because the veteran is, plays a very important part because they carry the story, whether you see it on a headstone or you see it in person. There's a story behind that. They fought for the freedoms that you uh, have today. I feel accomplished when I hear that. Um, I came from, uh, I wouldn't say it would say a bad neighborhood. I, I was raised pretty good, but I did um, drop out of high school. I am a high school dropout, and um, I, you know, my mom struggled with me. So to hear, you know, other people thanking me for something, and it just makes me feel like I've accomplished something. At first, you're a little embarrassed because we're humble servants most of the service. We do it because we want to. We don't want to bring glory to ourselves. We do it because we want to and then go on with our lives. So I've, to me, it means support when they say that, and I'm very grateful that they support. It means the world to hear it, for one, to have someone else's support for something that you believe in so highly. But wearing the uniform in general, that's the first basis of being a veteran, in my opinion, something that you put on daily or monthly, depending on your service. But every time you put it on, you're saying something. But I always think back to the Vietnam War era. You know, I've got a couple of uncles, to include my dad, that were draftees. You, the, the footage is out there. It's archived. We know that those soldiers who went and fought, who made the sacrifice, and a lot of them were drafted. They didn't go willingly to fight and to come back to the United States where they were spit upon or uh, just basically weren't even supported. So if someone says thank you for your service, I, I, I genuinely hold on to their hand. I look them dead in their eye and I say thank you for your support. I say that to every single person who says that to me. We recognize you today. Wherever you are, you are special, the volunteer. Thank you for your service.